Since you have probably heard about the launch of the new Synapse from Cannondale and Endeavor is from Canyon, we thought that we would make a video of those two bikes. However, instead of talking about those in a vacuum, I thought why not compare them against their main rivals and see how these bikes fare. In this video, we will compare the Trek Domane SL6, Specialized Rubé Comp, Merida Scultura Endeavor and 6000, Canyon Endeavor S CF8, Giant Defy Advanced 1, Cannondale Synapse 2 RL, BMC Road Machine 5, and Cervelo Caledonia. We have chosen 8 endurance bikes in their Altegra group set guys. In this video, we will talk about the frames of these bikes, whether they use any suspension system for added compliance, then discuss the geometry of the bikes, their drivetrain, tires, and in the end, give a brief summary of which bike would be best for your purpose. To start off then, the Synapse is made using Cannondale's mid-grade ballistic carbon. It features a round 27.2 mm seat post, which disappointingly is made of alloy. Cannondale have moved on from a BB30 bottom bracket standard to a simple English threaded bottom bracket. The tire clearance of the frame is increased to 35 mm. Now the letters RL indicate the presence of a radar system that warns you of impending cars from behind and a front light of 300 lumens and a rear light of 85 lumens that is integrated into the seat. If you are using a backpacking bag, this rear light is unusable in that circumstance though. Besides standard fender mounts, it comes with a top tube mount as well. The Endeavor's frame is made from Canyon's CF grade carbon. Tire clearance like the Synapse has increased to 35 mils. The seat post is Canyon's VCLS, but this time thankfully it's made of carbon. Canyon have stuck to a Shimano Pressfit BB86.5 standard bottom bracket. Canyon provide 8 sizes for the Endeavor IS with the two smallest sizes using 650B wheels instead, which we commend Canyon for. The Canyon 2 has provisions for both fender mounts and has extra top tube mounts. The frame of the Trek Domane SL6 is made from their 500 series OCLV carbon. It has the most generous 38 mm of tire clearance and a D-shaped carbon seat post. The Domane bottom bracket is T47 threaded and it is one of the two bikes here to use some sort of suspension system for added compliance. The Trek at both the rear and the front use ISO speed decouplers which provides astonishing amounts of compliance at the cost of significant weight though. It has provision for standard fender mounts as well as a frame integrated storage compartment. The specialized Rube comp is made from their fat tenor grid carbon. It comes with 33 mm of tire clearance and a seat post that is attached lower down in the seat tube for added flex. At the front, the Rube comes with their Future Shock 1.5 suspension system that gives added compliance between the stem and the head tube. The Rube's frame, which is the most aerodynamic among the bikes here, comes with the English threaded bottom bracket. It has standard fender mounts only. The Merida Scultura Endurance is Merida's entrant into the endurance bike segment. The frame is made from Merida CFC grade of carbon. It can take up to 35 mil tires and comes with very neat cable routing. The seat post is around 27.2 mil carbon seat post from Merida. The bottom bracket standard is BB86.5 press fit and it has standard fender mounts. The Giant Defy is made from Giant's advanced grade carbon and it houses a D-shaped carbon seat post too. There is clearance for tires measuring 35 mm wide and the bottom bracket standard is press fit BB86.5. There are standard fender mounts on the Defy 2 and it is worth mentioning that while it doesn't come with any suspension system, when you control for tires and wheels, it is probably the most comfortable bike without any suspension system. The BMC Road Machine frame features TCC compliance concept and can accommodate up to 33 mm tires. The seat post is a T-shaped one from BMC themselves and the bottom bracket is BB86.5 press fit. There are standard fender mounts and I should say the BMC has probably the stiffest frame in class and the best power transfer among the bikes here. The Cervelo Caledonia is made from Cervelo's introductory grade carbon and it is just behind the Rube in terms of aerodynamics. It features a round 27.2mm seat post which disappointingly is made from alloy. 
The bottom bracket standard is their BB right and it has traditional fender mounts. The tire clearance of the Caledonia is 35 mils. Moving on to geometry of the bikes, the stack is the vertical distance between the center of the bottom bracket and the top of the head tube. The reach is the horizontal distance between the same reference points. The SYR ratio is the stack is to reach ratio, so a higher number means a less aggressive bike. While all 8 are endurance bikes here, the SYR ratio would pit them into 3 small subcategories. The Domane Dube and Skultura Endurance are the most laid back bikes here. The Defy Synapse and Endurance have a middle of the ground geometry you would expect of a traditional endurance bike. While the Road Machine and Caledonia are racy endurance bikes as are very evident from the ratio being distinctly less. We will move on to the drive trends of the bikes then. All of the bikes here except the Caledonia and Endurance come with a 5034 Shimano Altegra crank. The Caledonia and Endurance use a 5236 Altegra crank. Cassettes in all the bikes are 11 speed but the one on the BMC is a 1132 and the rest are equipped with 1134 cassette. We will move on to the stock tires which actually have a big bearing on how these bikes ride off the shelf. The Domane comes with a 32C Bontrager R3 hard case light tire. The Rube with 28C specialized turbo pro tires. The Skultura Endurance with 32C Maxxis detonator tires. The Endurance 8 with Schwalbe 1 32C tire. The D5 with Giant Gavia 32C tire. The Synapse with 30C Vittoria Rubino tires. The Road Machine with 28 tires of the same make and the Caledonia with 30C Vittoria Zafiro tires. I am not going into difference between the wheels of these bikes as all of them more or less come with alloy disc wheels that weigh around 1900 grams and there's not much to choose really. And the same goes for the braking systems. I will give my verdict on the bikes then. To start off you can pause and look at the summary of the bikes. Since the Canyon is direct sales, the price is only before shipping and the excise duty collected at your own country. Now, if it costs less than $3,300 in your location after shipping and excise duties, then buying it is a no-brainer and it's the one we would recommend especially if you just want a general all-purpose endurance bike and don't have very specific needs. However, if you want to race on cobbles, then the Roubaix with its future shock and very aerodynamic frame is the one to go for as long as you would use less than 33mm wide tires. If you are just riding light gravel most of the time, and actually want to use groove tires more than 35c wide then the Domane SL6 with the most tire clearance of the bike set is very much worth considering. For a general all purpose bike though the Defy is still hard to beat and as long as the difference in price between it and the Endora S is less than 200 to 250 dollars it is the one we would recommend by far. Lastly, if you are a prior racer and want something sporty but don't have the flexibility of professionals, then the Road Machine and Caledonia are the ones to seriously consider. The Road Machine is the best handling bike here and it corners on rails, while if aerodynamics is more important to you, then the Caledonia may be more preferable. I have gone in detail through each of the bikes here and I suppose this video has made it clear to you which bike to buy given your requirements. Do consider subscribing to my channel for more bike videos like this and I'll see you next time.